hello guys welcome back so in the previous video we have discussed how to work with aggregate rows so in this I'm going to show you how to write custom expressions and you are say in ATL for some specific field just think you have some columns all the column values are having lowercase values and you want to make them uppercase or uppercase to lowercase extract some fields from it for example you have a date so from date you would like to extract some uh, year only year or month or date separately instead of having them all together so you can do those things in ETL itself but for that you need to have some basic understanding of Java and at least a core level of Java so that you can write your own expression to extract those things so for that uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll just um, delete this aggregate row uh, delete more and T log row and here if okay I can just still keep this T log row so I'll just run this and see what happens so I have uh, oh this is still not fine okay this is still fine sorry <laughs> so in the T map we only have sales and deal size right so that is the reason it was only showing two things and I'll even add one more column to this uh, date okay so where is the date column we have order date right so this is the order date I'll just add this order date to this but to make uh, what I'll do is I'll only I only want the year from this date but not the whole date so I just want if the date is like 1 1 2003 I just want 2003 from this order date so if you just check my CSV I have this kind of data like I have to 24 2003 okay and I have 2004 and 5 I can see still 5 here so so 2003 4 5 I have this kind of years in this so I'll just extract only year from this date and we have one more column called deal size so we have this with case sensitive like uh, we have capital letters and small letters so I'll try to change all these values to capital okay so we'll only work on this so you can do the same things on everything so this I'll be writing using Java okay so just go to your talent ETL so we have three columns now deal size and all those things apply so yes now I'll just run this we need we'll be seeing three we'll be seeing three columns now deals uh, date deal size and sales okay run so that's it so we have order date deal size and sales so I'll only extract year from this date now so how to do that is go to your team app so here you can see I have expressions in the out one so I'll just click on this on the three dots here you can see where we can write expressions here I'll write a simple Java code which is simple as Eclipse okay so new simple date simple date format okay so here I'll only write year one two three four okay year dot format and I'll just pass my field here that's it so row one dot order date okay apply so I'll just run it now oh there is something wrong so we'll just go with our code once we'll see what wrong we have done so new simple date format we'll just see change type of audited to string okay so we need to pass this to string right so no problem uh, I think uh, this is still fine let me check once again one two three four new simple date format so got it guys actually I was doing a mistake <laughs> so the simple date format method is actually used uh, to actually convert some string date to date string date to date okay so that is something different so we will actually write some different Java code for that um, let me go to this designer so I have just explored uh, how to get date so here I'll just take the row one as it is copy 
dot get here so there's a simple method so this will actually give you data in integer so if you actually check it here dot get here okay so it's actually returning as integer return type so we need to change the uh, column from date to integer okay and plus 1900 will give you the exact date okay finish so this should be actually int now because we have converted uh, the date to int so we'll just go with integer apply okay we'll just check whether we have any errors in our code so i don't see any errors in java code okay so just run it now so that's it perfect so first column is 2003 uh, small small and stuff so that's it so we have till the small from starting small to small we have 2003 let's check the same thing in csv so two tons oh we already have year id in this <laughs> i think we can compare this with year id okay so let me drag those things so that this are matching so go to your talent detail so here we have year id right um just drag this to this place um so this will give it as custom extraction the for this will give some name like custom um custom year extraction just like that okay so just run it that's it so i think everything must match so we are actually getting the date year from the date and we already have year id for this so that makes our work easy to just make sure that our data is matching perfectly now but the other thing what i have said is changing this dealer size to uppercase okay so that's very simple i think right <laughs> so simple java class you need to call a simple java class for this so for this dot to uppercase should do right that's it apply so run it so you can see all of them have been converted to uppercase so isn't that easy so <laughs> so this is how you can actually write your custom expressions using basic core java concepts to actually get some customized data or to do some changes to your data or anything so for that you can use expressions okay so that's it guys so thanks for watching so in the next video we'll come with some good topic from etl so thanks for watching